sometimes I say things that other people probably just think to themselves and just keep in their head. And that's, you know, that's fine. You know, keep it to yourselves. It's probably better. Hi, I'm Olivia Rivera and I don't have an internal monologue. This is something that's kind of been going around the internet lately, if you've seen it. Uh, some people have an internal dialogue or an internal monologue where it's more of a constant stream of thoughts. I, on the reverse hand, feel that my thought process is more like sporadic or random jot notes. It's not my voice talking all the time and it's more like I'm just seeing lines of thought and maybe they have voices associated to them or tones associated to them but not necessarily my voice. If you're typing something on a computer and the lines are just kind of like appearing on the screen, I think that's kind of how my brain works. And that's why jot notes feel like the best way to describe it. When I hear that other people have like a constant uh, kind of dialogue and stream in their head and that when they're doing a task, they'll just be thinking about things the entire time they're doing a task. It actually kind of feels a little overwhelming. Like how, how do you deal with that? And how does that feel? I always thought it was something that people just manifested and made up for movies and books and characters just to kind of like explain your inner thought process and like have like a way to explain your inner thought process. Um, but I didn't realize that it was actually that constant for people that people did actually have a little kind of voice in their head telling them different things and what to do and what to think and stuff like that. I don't have that. Sometimes I will just speak it out loud. I find that, especially when I'm alone, I'll just kind of like, oh, encourage myself loud, out loud versus kind of saying it in my head. Music lyrics come into my head a lot and I'll hear the music as the singer sings it. So thinking my thoughts through before I say something, uh, that is something that I never ever was good at when I was growing up. I'd constantly get in trouble, especially my mom. She'd try to kind of instill in me, no, you have to think before you speak, because I would often put my foot into my mouth and say something that I probably shouldn't have said. As I grew up, it didn't get better. I didn't think before I spoke. It's almost like I just got better at reading the situation subconsciously and knowing what to say and what to respond with because I'm not running things through my mind first, it does kind of lose that filter first. And that kind of contributes to the whole, like people often know what I'm thinking because I will say exactly what I'm thinking. You know, I think it is something that we should know more about because I think that helps knowing how other people think. You can kind of react better and maybe expect less or more in for a situation because you can understand how they might be actually thinking in their heads better.